What is up guys? I hope you're all doing super well. So these are the three events that I'm going to be doing in 2023 as a hybrid athlete, you know, getting out there, running a lot whilst maintaining strength and size and focusing a lot on the weight room still. Um, these are the events. So event number one, it's the biggest running event I've ever done. It'll be the first trail run event I've ever done. Um, and it's honestly, I'm, I'm so excited. And I'm thinking of turning it into a fundraiser, but I'm not going to commit to that right now. But it is UTD, Ultra Trail Drakensberg. And I'm going to be doing the 100 kilometer version of that. So I believe there's a 21, 32, or 35, 62, 100 and 160. So I'm going for the 100. I am, I, I can't begin to explain how excited I am for this event. I can't be, I can't wait to get out there into the mountains. I don't think I've been to the Drakensberg, to be honest, um, to go and explore, to experience it, and to, you know, just, just really grind through a difficult event um, for, for, I don't know how long it's gonna take me, but I'm very excited. Um, so that's the first event. The second event that I'm gonna be doing is, the, is an event I did this year, which is the Cape Town Marathon. I'm gonna be pushing for a PB, of course, as we do. Um, I'm yet to set my, like, kind of set my sights on the exact time I wanna push for. Um, I have a, an inkling, but I'm not gonna publicize that yet. Um, but that will be around October-ish, like the same time as this year. Um, I haven't gone and bought my ticket yet. I have bought my ticket for the UTD 100. Um, but yeah, so the next event will be a road run, a marathon, Cape Town Marathon, 42.2 Ks, and I'll be pushing for a PB there. And then the final event that I'm gonna be doing for the year will be Ultra Trail Cape Town, UTCT. And I'm gonna go for the 100 kilometer um, or the 55 kilometer option there. I'm, I'm not 100% I'm not sure yet. Um, I'm kind of keen just to, to you know, get into the occasion of UTCT um, and I don't think that I have to commit to a huge distance to do that. I think 55Ks is a challenge in itself um, and I think it'll be really enjoyable to do just that distance but I'm kind of, you know, I know how I am and I, I feel like I might want to do the 100K version. So the three events are UTD, Cape Town Marathon and UTCT um, and those I'm committing to, I'm going to do, I've bought the ticket for UTD already and um, I'm going to bring on a coach um, for all of them. And uh, so I'll probably be coached the entire year, um, which is going to be interesting. It'll be my first year having a, you know, a full kind of calendar year being under the guidance of a, of a running coach, which is going to be really cool. Um, I'm really excited to share the journey with you all as I did. If any of you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen that I did a series on my Cape Town Marathon prep for my sub three hour, sub three hour 30 uh, excuse me, uh, run. So, um, and that was a pretty comprehensive content series. But as I said, I don't believe long term is very appropriate for Instagram. So I'm migrating it over here. I'm going to share it with you all here. I really like YouTube as a platform because it's you can really connect with the audience, and the audience can connect with you, and you can really like get into the nitty gritty of the uh, of the person because it's there's more room to share stuff and there's no kind of limit on how long or um, or how short, I mean they're YouTube shorts, but on how long the video needs to be. Um, so that's what 2023 is shaping up to look like. I need to go check on my rice, one moment. Guys, I'm back. This is my meal, this is lunch. Um, so I've got, I kind of, I, I, I kind of overdid the heat. I usually cook my chicken on like a high, like seven or eight out of 10. And I left it on nine for way too long. So I kind of charred it a little bit, but anyway, we're still getting all the goodness. So it's a little bit of chicken breast, 150 grams, 130 grams of tomato, 130 grams of mushrooms, 120 grams of pickled beetroot, 62 grams of sweet pepper, and then 70 grams of rice. So that is lunch, which I will allow to cool down as I continue sharing with you the plans for next year. Um, and yeah, I'm super, yeah, a little bit more context for this meal. It's my lunchtime meal. It's my pre-leg uh, day meal. I'm going to train legs today. Um, but anyway, in terms of next year, another thing is, you know, 
am I going to try and am I going to try and drop weight again? Because for the CTM, the Cape Town Marathon prep this year, I intentionally dropped about four kilos, um, and I that helped me a lot. You know, it translates over long distances. So, um, but I do feel quite comfortable at this weight. I like how strong I am. I like my body composition. I like how I feel this weight. Yes, it would help me as a runner to drop more weight, but I'm not a professional athlete. I am striving to be better, but I really also do want to keep the aspects of training and physicality that I enjoy. So I'm not going to drop any more weight. I'm going to make sure to eat enough. I'm going to maintain my muscle mass. So for all three of the events throughout the year, I'm going to be competing at over 90 kilos. So I'll be over 200 pounds for all of them. Um, and that is, that's what's going to make it pretty like, I mean, it's going to be challenging regardless of how big or small you are. Um, but that definitely adds another element uh, to it and a, another kind of moving part that I need to monitor because obviously that means that I'm not just going to be doing running training and trail training. I'm going to be doing um, weights in the gym three to five times a week, every week throughout. Um, how I do weights will change. I will monitor the load on my legs specifically because I know that obviously with all the running, the load is high and then you become more susceptible to injury. So, you know, but things like this, you can, you can manage a high load. You just need to monitor it carefully and you need to sleep enough and you need to eat, en eat enough and you need to hydrate enough and you need to manage stress well which is also going to be an interesting challenge next year because I've, um, I have started my business. I'm opening my gym, gym beginning of Jan. So, you know, all of these things are things to consider, um, but they are controllables. They are things that you can manage. Um, so that is where my head is at for 2023 in terms of events and prep and like I said I'm going to make it as comprehensive as possible I'm going to share as much information with you as possible and I'm going to make it as interactive as possible too so if there are any questions you have leave them in the comment section if there's anything that you want to learn more about from me or hear my perspective on regarding health fitness training mental wellness physical wellness let me know mindset let me know drop it in the comment section or send me a dm on instagram or uh whatever you know uh, i'm very happy to engage with you around that um, and i love it i love it when people ask me questions it's a really because i love you know thinking about these things and sharing stuff about these things so yeah um i think it'll be quite beneficial as well to share quite a bit more about the diet and the nutrition um because i mean through instagram i just kind of shared my you know showed what I was eating. I didn't really go in detail around it, but I do have an exciting piece of content planned. Excuse me, there's a lot going on in C points and around and noises if you can hear them. But I do have a really exciting piece of content planned around nutrition. And I have got a professional certified dietitian who's gonna be sitting on Instagram live with me and unpacking everything around basic diet, like nutritional stuff for like just lifestyle. And then also, high performance, nutrition, uh, how to eat as an athlete, um, you know, all those kind of interesting things. So a lot of that's coming. Um, so keep your eye out and would super appreciate any feedback. Please leave it in the comments. If you don't want to leave it in the comments, drop me a DM anywhere. Um, and yeah, TikTok, Sprint Talk, Instagram, Sprinter, YouTube here. Please subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.